Conan, you're coming to Los Angeles, and they're building your studio in Universal City, a bleak pit of despair that will crush your soul daily. And to get away from that and rejuvenate, you're going to want to come here to sunny Burbank, California. Conan, you're such a history buff. We all know that. And to scratch that itch, you're going to want to come here to the Burbank Historical Society. I'm in front of the Menser House. This was built in 1887, a year before the Jack the Ripper murders, five years before the Beatles' first LP. So let's go inside and let's learn about Burbank. So I'm talking to Mary Jane Strickland, who is the founder of the Burbank Historical Society. Um, you know Burbank inside and out. So what, what I'm wondering is, you know, Conan O'Brien has a very distinctive look. I mean, some would say compelling, some would say freakish. Uh, he has very, very distinct hair, and I'm just wondering, will the residents of Burbank kind of embrace that? Like, have they seen anything like that before? Would they be okay with him? What do you think? Yeah, we have a lot of people with funny hairdos in Burbank, and, yeah. and we think he's very handsome. Oh, nice. Yes. So people in Burbank find Conan, that's good to know. Yes. Nice. Conan, I'm standing next to a holy relic. This is the jacket of Johnny Carson. Someday, if you shrink eight inches and gain some talent, <laughs> this will adorn your torso. Oh, it burns. It burns. Hi, I'm in a uh, recreation of a 1900s uh, Burbank home. I am here in my parlor uh, with my wife, Opal, who has gone insane. Opal? Opal, I know you can hear me. We're gonna take you to the nervous hospital now, Opal. So you'll stop seeing those laughing ghosts that force you to draw pictures of swords that look like penises. Opal! Opal! By the way, I just wanted you guys to see this. When you shoot stuff in LA, even if it's something stupid like what we're doing right now, they assign you a cop. A cop has to be there for security. Look who they gave me. They gave me a friggin' superhero. Look at this guy. What's your first name? Gammer. Gammer? Yes, sir. More like, you know what? Gammer Man. That's who they assigned to me. Gammer Man. He's made of pure quartz and tornadoes. He's made of five <laughs> tornadoes. Good God in heaven. My pleasure, sir. No, hey, my pleasure. And there's so many great business names here in Burbank. Like Hollywood Dog Grooming. Hair to Please. Victorian heritage. And don't forget the business names that sound great when said by Jerry Lewis, like Delson Building, Boys and Plaza, Chidaka Thai, and Old Navy. This is Carrie Height. She's the owner of the Wax Poetic Beauty Salon right here in Burbank, where I come to get my hair done. Uh, uh. Wax Poetic uh, Conan is where you can come, not only get your hair done, uh, you can read a book. Oh, Brittany. You can look at art. Admire. But you know what? Why should I talk about it when I can show you what a day at Wax Poetic Salon looks like? Let's go check it out. Hmm. <laughs> Do you like paintings by serial killers? Then come next door to Hyena. And nothing says John Wayne Gacy like a clown in a graveyard. And at Hyena, you can get all kinds of decorations for Christmas, Easter, First Communion, Hanukkah. Oh my goodness. I just finished another delicious lunch here at the Olives Bistro inside the Coast Hotel. Uh, but what made this lunch pretty amazing was I was served by the restaurant's manager, Rob Lambaron, better known as Robzilla, competitive, Breakdancer. Yeah. You're a competitive breakdancer. Yeah. And you're world class. Yes. You go up against Germans, Czechs, Chinese, and Russians. Everything, yeah. You take them all on. Mm -hmm. 17 years? 17 years, yeah. 17 years. So you manage a restaurant to pay for the breakdancing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That is dedication. If you don't mind, I'm going to finish my coffee. And you're going to bust some moves. It helps, it helps with my digestion. Yes, sir.
glorious. Well, it's been an amazing day here in Burbank. I bet you can't wait to get here. Uh, it's time for me to scoot. Gammer, let's go home.